buying used is a huge part of model railroading and it is something that I've definitely done more in model railroading than in any hobby I have pursued. The standards that were set decades ago for track width and scale have allowed for older items to have a significantly longer lifespan than a lot of other hobbies. Now that said, there are some things to keep in mind when you're buying used in model railroading so that you get what you want and you're not disappointed. Hey everybody, my name is Jimmy. I'm just drinking some local coffee today and this is Coffee and Drains. This video is brought to you with support from my patrons on Patreon. These videos would not be possible without them, and if you'd like to join the Patreon community, you can follow the link in the description below and join for as little as $1 a month. There are two main focuses that I would consider good places to buy used. The first is eBay and other online retailers and social media platforms, and those in-person meets like train shows and swap meets. Now, getting back to eBay, there are literally thousands of different model railroad listings on eBay, and you can find some fantastic deals, but there are also quite a bit of overpriced garbage being sold by people who simply don't know trains. Look for sellers who specialize and model trains and save these sellers. I have several that are my go-tos. These include Model Train Market, Trains with a Z, Trains and More. I could go on. I have ordered from these sellers and have had nothing but positive interactions with them. If you come across someone who is just selling a few one-off items, having more photos on that listing it can be a way to be reassured that the item at least appears to be in good shape. I am always wary of users listings who use just the original product photo from when it was new when it is in fact listed as a used item. One of the other big places that I see online selling used equipment is social media like Facebook groups. Now, I'm not talking about Facebook Marketplace or anything like that. There are several groups out there with several thousand members regularly buying, selling, and trading items. You can ask to join and then check out the various interactions before deciding to participate. In terms of other online selling platforms like Mercari or LetGo, I have not used these, but that was really because of a lack of items that interested me. My immediate red flags that tell me to move on to another listing are these. As I said before, listing a used item with only the factory product photo. Another one is incorrect scale. This shows a lack of knowledge and you may not get what you paid for. Incorrect road name versus the picture shown. Now this suggests bulk listing where someone is churning through and not paying attention to quality. Incorrect item versus picture. Think locomotive types on this. I think it's pretty obvious why I don't trust that. Just one photo that does not show the product well. They may just be new at eBay or they may be trying to sell off some junk and no important details such as DCC information, running condition, etc. My layout is DCC, but I'll totally buy an old DCC ready locomotive and convert it as long as it runs. I just want to know up front rather than having to message you and hope for a reply. Online is always going to be tricky because of not being able to see the item in person. That's why I really like buying used at train shows and then of course participating in swap meets. Now, first of all, what is the difference between a train show and a swap meet? And some of you may have never even heard of a swap meet. The basic difference is that for the most part, train shows are usually populated by vendors and displays and you will be more than likely purchasing the items with cash. Swap meets are cool because you can bring your excess gear or items you no longer want and attempt to trade them with other model railroaders, which is pretty cool. For the rest of this video and my sanity, I'm going to just refer to these as in-person events. In-person events have several advantages over buying online. The biggest being that you can physically inspect the piece that you want to buy and make sure that it runs and that it has all the parts as well as inspecting for damage. The other big advantage is the ability to haggle in person. Now, eBay has the make an offer feature that if the buyer chooses to activate it, you can use. And of course, you can message people on the various social platforms if you're buying on there. But making offers to vendors is something that can not only benefit you, but can benefit the vendor by helping them move more product. Now, when you're going to make an offer, make sure that it's reasonable. Don't go make an offer for $5 per car for three when the vendor has them listed for $20 per car. That is not only disrespectful to the vendor, 
gender, but it will not net you your goal of obtaining what you want. If you're at a swap meet, you're there to swap. This means give and take. Make sure that what you take to swap is in good condition, or if it's not, be very upfront that the piece is for parts or kit bashing. Honesty is the best policy for swap meets. Before we continue, let's talk about some of the coffees you guys are drinking. Dale Collier is drinking Thule's French Roast with a little bit of cinnamon and turbinado sugar. The Train Freak, hey Jason, how you doing, is drinking a Monster Java Salted Caramel. And Andy Crawford is drinking Great Value Walmart Light Roast this morning. Sounds really good. Now, back to what we're talking about. There are some cons to these two areas of focus for buying used. The two main cons for train shows and swap meets are, number one, they are very location dependent. Some of the best annual train shows are impractical for me to travel to right now. I hope to get to them someday, but I simply can't right now. The second con is a variety of product. A train show will never be able to match the sheer volume of product available on the internet, and it's unreasonable to expect that. You can go to the internet vendors as well 24-7, and train shows are limited time events. There are two main cons for buying used online as well. The first one is the biggest. You don't know the quality of the product in question until you get it. You can only assume based on photos and buyer reviews if the seller is really telling the truth and has this product. The second is shipping. Shipping is the Achilles heel of online shopping in terms of cost for used items. Most of the time, there will be some sort of shipping charge when a used sale is made. That is something that obviously won't happen at a train show, or at least I hope so. <laughs> Buying used can be a huge money saver and is a huge, huge part of model railroading. You just have to be careful when you do it. Let me know some of your favorite places to buy used model railroading swag in the comments below. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, drink some coffee, and happy railroading.